Uh, the best thing you could ever do for your iPhone is keep it updated. So if you go to settings, you always can look through uh, this menu here, go to general, and right here you have software update. And if there's an update, there'll be a one next to this uh, menu right here. Um, so you want to make sure you always update your phone uh, when the updates are available. Um, from the lock screen, one of the biggest things I always use is my camera. So one thing that you can do is on the bottom here, there's a little camera, so flick up and then it'll take you to your camera mode right there. Um, you'll be able to take quick pictures. Um, and that's all often helpful, you know, if you're at an event or something exciting happens and you need quick access to your phone. So again, from this screen right here at the bottom, right here there's a little camera. So you click on that, flick up, and there you go. You have your camera. You can go to your photo mode, video, um, any one of these modes down here is helpful because you have quick access to that. If you want to switch the camera to face you, then you would just click this. There, there I am. <laughs> flick it back. Um, so that's one tip. Another tip that I use, uh, or another trick that I have, is to flick up. Sometimes you don't know that menu's there. Um, on the top you have five buttons, on the bottom you have four. Um, this first one is airplane mode, so if you are if you don't want to use your data or turn off your phone without actually powering down your device, um, I often use this. Sometimes when I'm in class, I put it on here because I don't want any text messages or um, phone calls to come in, so I just put it on airplane mode. This one is Wi-Fi, so if you want to turn your Wi-Fi on, this is one quick uh, button to help you do that. Uh, this is Bluetooth, so say you have a speaker that you want to connect to, um, you would just click on here. Um, I often use this for my uh, portable speaker, and so when I want to uh, use my portable speaker, I use come here real quick and uh, click this button there. Uh, this one is Do Not Disturb, so that's on. So like if you're going to sleep at nighttime and you don't want any text messages or phone calls to come through, you click this here. Um, the nice thing about this feature is that if you get an emergency call uh, during the nighttime, if your phone rings twice in a row, your phone automatically uh, turns off the Do Not Disturb so you can have access to that uh, phone call. The last icon here is Auto Lock. So say you're looking at a website, maybe you're reading it on your bed or something and you want it to lock a certain way. Um, so as you can see it goes, you know, flips back and forth. So say you want to keep it locked in this position, all you do is go to this, click on the button here, and then you'll see that it uh, remains in that position that you lock it in. Another tip is, say you're on a screen, uh, maybe it could be any screen on this phone, um, say you find something that's really interesting to you, um, like here's the Einstein's menu, <laughs> and so um, say I want to um, have this menu uh, and take it as a picture, what you do is you click this um, home button and click the power button on the top at the same time, and what it does is it takes a screenshot. So you, you can see if you go to your camera roll, here. I, I often go through it through my uh, actual camera. So there you see it's actually a picture now. So if you want to send it or forward it to somebody, um, you can do that. That's also one really helpful tool. Um, something else too, sometimes your phone can freeze. Um, so what I do is um, I make sure that all my apps are closed. So to access that, click the home button twice. So again, one, two, and then you'll see that all these different screens are open. So this means that your uh, apps are still open. To close them, all you got to do is flick up um, and then it'll close the the app. So this is one helpful thing. Sometimes um, people don't know this so that if your phone is slow, you, sometimes you'll see people have like 20 to 25 different apps open. Um, so make sure you check that. Make sure you close it often. Um, it helps to with it helps your phone go a little bit faster. Um, Another thing too is to with it when it when it uh, acts a certain way or the phone is not acting properly, sometimes what I do is a, um, a hard power off. And the way that you do that is you, again, click this home button and the power button at the same time. So hold it for about, I don't know, five or six seconds. So I'll do that right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So about nine seconds. The power's down and the Apple comes back on. So that means that uh, it was uh, just a hard power off, and so oftentimes it helps. If sometimes the phone freezes or whatnot, um, doing a hard power off um, helps uh, with that. Another tip is at the top, if you pinch, or if you, sorry, scroll down here, um, you'll have this uh, kind of control panel here, this menu where you have um, your calendar, and just you can add different um, elements on this menu here. Um, another thing that you can do is you can move your apps around. So to do that, all you got to do is hold on to the icon or hold on to the app um, for about two seconds. Um, so again, so it's like one, two, hold on to it, and then you can move it around um, 
based on wherever you'd like it to be. So say I want to move this Safari to the next screen, just kind of hold it and then it'll move it um, to the next screen. Um, one thing that you can also do, and you can put any um, up to four at least apps on the bottom. One thing that I did was actually clustered them together to help me because um, I like to have access to these apps uh, really, really fast. Um, so what you can do is you can cluster your different apps based on any kind of theme that you have or just based on what you uh, prefer. Um, so let me give you an example here. So with the app, so say I want to put comic book together with my Southwest app, all you got to do is hold it and drop it in there. Um, to go back, just click on the bottom. So say I want to put IMDB in there, so just put this here, and you can drop it in there. Again, click this here, drop it in there. Um, and then to name it, all you'd have to do is go up here. So this one looks like pretty miscellaneous, um, so I would just type in uh, the title here. And to stop the icons or the apps from moving, just click the home button and it'll freeze it and lock it in place. So now that I have this other tile right here or this square with my miscellaneous stuff, um, you can move this over down to the bottom part um, where you have quick access to it. And so for me, I often use, um, of course, my uh, apps, my favorite apps here, Pandora, Music, iMovie, you love that, uh, love that app, and then Instagram. Um, and then my camera is often what I use and my text messaging. So those are the ones that I put here. Um, and so again, so you see them moving around. So then to move these or to lock it, then again, click the home button. And there you go. There are certain apps that you can't move or can't, um, I'm sorry, certain apps you can't delete. And those are the ones that come with the phone. So if you see here, like maps you can't delete or notes you can't delete because that's already, uh, that's built in into the phone. Um, but something like... Um, TV guide you can delete um, and then you would just click delete so yeah that's a one way you can or that's the way you delete um, apps. I got my iPhone I had uh, trouble understanding how to set up my voicemail so here's a real quick tutorial on how to do that so you click on the phone uh, app here just click on that here and then at the bottom you have a bunch of different options um, but click voicemail and here you'll have a list of different uh, voicemail that you get that you get from uh, people calling in. But the way you set up your voicemail is click on greeting, and through here is where you're actually able to customize your own uh, greeting or your message, um, or you can use a default. So that's how you One do it. One cool feature of the phone is the emoji keyboard, and to demonstrate it. So through a text message, uh, you actually can add different icons or faces within uh, your text. And so you would just click on this little world thing here, and then you have access to all these different icons and uh, features here that express uh, what you're communicating using symbols. Um, so to get access to that keyboard, you actually have to add it. So go to settings, click on general. Uh, scroll down to find keyboard, which is right here. And what you would do is just go to this keyboard right here to add a keyboard. And since I already added it, it's not going to show up. Um, but so you would add new keyboard, and then you would find it here, emoji. So the way that you spell it is right here, E-M-O-J-I. And to add that, um, a keyboard will give you access to when you're writing... Uh, when you have a, a text message, you can send these different um, icons here, which is pretty cool. Tips for the camera. Click on the camera icon. And so here, I often use this um, for video, I'm mainly taking video. Um, one thing that's helpful is that when you click on um, this screen, you can focus in on an actual object, which is, which is helpful. Um, so if you tap the screen, you'll see that wherever you tap, the camera focuses on that object or that part of the screen. Um, so with that, what I often do is when I use the phone, um, one thing to keep in mind is that you can also zoom in, which if you're like at a concert or something, so say you want to zoom in and it'll actually record um, from whatever part you zoom in. And when you record, uh, you can zoom in and zoom out while, when it's recording so that when you go back to your clip on your camera roll, it'll actually show um, what you did on your phone. So here's an example. So as you can see from the recording, 
there you go, it, re it recorded zooming in and out. Um, so that's helpful. So if you're, you know, again, like at a concert or in class or want to focus in on somebody that you're interviewing, you know, certain features, that's helpful. Um, with the pictures, I often access it through my, um, through just the actual uh, icon here. I just go to the camera roll here at the bottom. So that's one quick way I always access my photos. Um, and I go look and look and look. I have tons of tons of uh, footage on here. Um, but that's one if way. If you want to send um, a picture or send a couple of pictures, um, all you have to do is click select and choose the photos you want to send. Um, so you'll see here, um, I'll send these to my sister. Um, so you would just click this little icon on the bottom and you can message it and then you click um, You can see I'm still here in the Moji keyboard, but to go back always click that little world and You're able to send it um, You can also email it too. So again, you just click select Go here with this little icon at the bottom. You can email it um, put it on Facebook so that's really a cool way to um, send and share your photos. Last tip, I'm going to show you how to add different pictures to your wallpaper. So go to your camera roll, um, pick the picture that you would like. Um, I'll just use this one. Click this little icon on the bottom, the left bottom side, and at the bottom there's different options here again to share. Um, but when you look at the bottom here, uh, use as wallpaper. So you can use this here, you can move it around a little bit, um, you can decide what part of the the uh, picture you want to use and then you would just click set and then you can decide set lock screen, set home screen or set both so you can decide uh, what to do regarding that. Pretty simple.